What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Exciting news today, guess what? Hen is finally released for 7.55. If you look over here, June just uh, tweeted, Gold Hen version 1.1 by Sistro is now released through all firmwares as 5.05, 6.72, all the way to 7.55. Now what does this include? It includes Hen, debug settings, VR support, remote package installer, and guys, rest mode. That is awesome. No longer do you have to keep jailbreaking every single time. Rather put your PS4 into rest mode and use it whenever you want, which is pretty cool. So now you also have the external HDD support, debug trophies. I know a lot of people have been having this issue with the trophies on 6.72 with the date and time not being updated. So guys, that's no longer going to be a problem now that you have Gold Hand released. UART support, screenshot enabler, remote play enabler, persistent FTP at the port 2121. So this is released guys, and yes, it has been adopted by most of these uh, exploit hosters. For example, Night King already has it. There's Mira Old, Mira New, there's Gold Hen right here. I like the ring to it, like Golden and Gold Hen. So also the Wolf Gamer has it, and then you also see uh, the Gamer Hack also has it. So guys, I mentioned in my previous video that I'm going to do an entire you know exploit comparison between all the different hosts and how it reacts. Honestly, I already start doing that and it is really time consuming because of all the attempts that I have to go through. I've completed about two different hosts, but then I and guys, I put that on halt because Spectre actually tweeted this two days ago and he said, when not winning super often, but Themestar's tip on plus slow CPU on PS4 will be more stable with some work. Now that sounds interesting. There's some method he's working on which might make the stability a little better. And he posted again just like three hours ago. And he said, I cleaned up my kernel exploit and for the IP6 free BSD bug. He said, so I didn't tweak stability a lot for the BSD VM, but timings can be tweaked. So this is something that he just launched about three hours ago and needs to be taken into account and, and tested out, etc. So I think the stability is moving to a much more uh, better state right now. So I've been holding off on the whole exploit comparison um, so far. But now that Gold Hen is out, guys, I'm going to be testing it out with Gold Hen with the, all the different exploits. And I'm going to be posting a video maybe a day or two. I'm going to actively start testing it from today and tomorrow and then compile the, all the videos together and post it up for you there for tomorrow. And meanwhile, guys, guess what? PS4 Trainer is now updated with WebRTE 7.55, so that's great. As I mentioned, all the payloads are going to keep updated and it's going to keep getting better and better and it is actually working out. And guys, one another thing is activating your account offline is also now supportable with 7.55. I think I'll drop a quick video about how to do that for 7.55. I do have a tutorial for 6.72 and also for 7.02. I'll drop another one for 7.55. So guys, keep that in account. So guys, we've seen all of these things. Let's just put this in action and check it out on the PS4 to see how it works. All right, so let's just go to the PS4, check it out, and then we'll wrap this video up. All right, guys, so here we are. I'm on the PS4 right now, and I'm going to go ahead and try this whole gold hen and see how it turns out. Of course, guys, before you try any exploit and you're willing to set on one, just delete your cookies and clear website data, and then go ahead and load it up. All right, guys, so just running up Night King's host here. Let it offline cache real quick, and I'm going to run gold hen and see how it goes. All right, guys, so here we are. It is the 7.55 firmware from Night King host, and as you can see, here's gold hen, and I'm going to go and run it right away and see how it goes. And it is going to have a few failed attempts, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and probably skip it and go straight to when it implements, letting you know how many times it failed. So, guys, I'm just fast-forwarding this, but I had about 23 attempts that I had to click OK, OK, OK again and again. But thankfully, there was no kernel panics, but, you know, now that rest mode is working, so I don't have to keep doing this every single time. Looks like after several attempts. All right, there you go, guys. Here's your all set uh, launching payload, and it should... There you go, Gold Hen 1.00 loaded. Okay, so now we are presently jailbroken. It did take a few attempts, but then that's pretty normal with this particular jailbreak. And there we go, guys. We're presently jailbroken, and we are using Gold Hen. So I'm going to go to system. There you go. As you can see, Hen 7.55, and it says Gold Hen version 1.1 coded by Sistro. Right at the bottom, which makes sure that you are actually on that. So we did mention that you have rest mode that's working on this one. So I'm going to go and test that out. Uh, presently, I am jailbroken and let's just see how it goes. So let's just go test out rest mode and see what happens. So I'm going to go to enter rest mode. And let me see. I'm just going to go and record this other side too. Okay, entering rest mode now. Okay, as you can see, it is now in rest mode. It's still pulsing, so I'm just going to wait for it to completely go into rest mode. All right, guys, so now it's finally in rest mode. 
Uh, as you can see here, it's no longer pulsing and it's, it's properly in rest mode. So I'm going to try and wake it up now and to see what's going to happen. Okay, it's turned blue. Fingers crossed, we hope you're still jailbroken. So on the good news, guys, it actually works. The last time it just kind of like completely crashes on rest mode every time you're into rest mode. And let's see. And yes, we're still jailbroken. So I'm going to test this out one more time because in 7.02, Yuri had this issue where it would go to rest mode only for the first time. But the second time you try, it's not going to go to rest mode. So I'm going to fire up a game. I'm going to keep it in the background. Sorry, guys, I'm here in this particular game right now. So I'm going to go and skip this. Uh, let's see if I can skip this. All right, guys, so as you can see, the game's running right now. So I'm going to quit the game, uh, have, have it running in the background, and then go to rest mode for the second time and see what happens. Maybe this time it's going to crash. And if it does work, guys, nothing like it. As you can see, guys, it's completely on rest mode. I'm going to go and wake it up again. Going back in. Let's hope the game is still running. And it looks like it is. I'm going to see if I'm still jailbroken. I mean, I should be if the game is running. But just to make sure, there it is. There you go, guys. So, guys, there you go. Arrest mode is actually working perfectly fine. Just like that. Your games are being suspended. You're still jailbroken every single time you come out. So, there you go, guys. And that's about it, guys. Keeping this video real short. Now, rest mode is working. So, in no matter the stability, once you go ahead and jailbreak, you can keep your PS4 in rest mode and continue to enjoy your jailbreak. And I'm going to come out with a whole expert comparison video shortly. And I'm going to put also a few tutorials for Sound.55. Tutorial about how to offline activate your PS4 on Sound.55. 5.5 and you also have WebRT enabled now and let's see how things go guys I hope you're enjoying your 7.55 jailbreak all right guys so let me know in the comments if you want me to go ahead and cover anything else and I'll be glad to go and get that done and I will see you guys in the next video happy gaming and I hope you're having a great week ahead see you guys